to my channel. Today, we are going to learn intervals and chords, and this will help you in your uh, note readings and recognizing names. So let's start, and please make sure to subscribe and like this video at the end. As you can see here, guys, we are having a treble clef. So we are having five lines and four spaces. So let's first review our names for our lines. So always count lines and spaces from the bottom to your top. And now we are having lines. One, two, three, four, and five. Spaces, we are having one, two, three, four, four spaces. Now, how we name lines? Every, good, boy, deserves, fudge. Or you can count as every good bird does fly, every good boy does fine, every good boy deserves fries, However you want to call it, just have just keep in mind that first letters should should be uh, E G B D F. And for spaces, we just spell F A C and E. Okay, let's try now our chords. So we are having. We will start from first space and note F. If you write note like this right next to it. This is our, our unit song. On the piano, honestly, if you have um, the same note in right and left hand, you'll be pressing it like this, or you can just press it with one hand. Now, if we go to the next key, right here, see they're really next to each other. This is F and G. This is interval of two. So interval, it's actually distance between keys. So interval of two, because one, two, they're right next to each other. Now, next one would be in the space. And this would be interval of three. One, two, three. So just so you know, if we see notes, space, space, or uh, line, line, those would be uneven numbers. So this would be uneven number. And this one would be even number. One, two, three, four. Now this will help you, help you in your reading notes as well. You know that this is F and you're like, okay, I'm going four up. One, F, G, two, A, three, B is my four. You can count this way as well. If you know the name of the first note, you can just count up uh, as many spaces as you need to, as many distance. And next one would be, again, in the space, so uneven number, FC. That would be fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Next one would be sixth, then seventh, then eighth. And eighth, uh, we are calling octaves, and we are having the same key that we are pressing here, we are having up. Same keys. Now I will be keeping this F and C on the screen so you know. So this is our shell for our chord that we will start learning today. So we have F chord and uh, F note and C. Now we are missing one more and look what I'm doing. I'm just looking for my middle note between those two. That would be this one. And I have F then A then C, right here. Now you can count it like this. So you press F and then you skip next key, press, skip next key, press. Or if you want, you can do by using whole and half steps. So let me just remind you really quick what's whole and half. Whole step are two white keys if they are having black key in between. Or uh, whole step is connected 
is uh, built by two half steps. So one, two. So half step is the closest key to this one. That would be the black one here. So one, two, and this is our second or um, our whole step. If we are uh, looking for um, to find this next key from F by using half steps, this is how you're doing. So we press F because that's the name of the chord and we count one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. And we have F, A, C. Again, we press F because that's the name of the, of the chord and we count one, two, three, four. And we need one more. So now we are starting from this one. We have one, two, three. This chord that we are just pressing is our major chord. So in beginning in music, we'll be learning major. And next one is minor chord. Major is happy. And I will teach you how to find now minor. It's all about this middle key, where this middle is going. If you want to build minor, instead of having four half uh, steps up, you will have three from this original. So F, one, two, three. And now you have from this one to the last one, four. One, two, three, four. And you have minor or our dark place, our sad chord. So major has is built from four halves and then three halves to the next one. And uh, minor, it's built from three, four. Three half steps, four half steps. Major and minor. I want to show you today uh, scales as well. So I'm going to write here scale of C. Okay, so here we have our C scale. We'll be playing with both hands. That's very simple C scale. C scales are actually our warm up exercises. And another exercise that I want to show you is start from both thumbs on C metal and just left hand will go down, right hand will go up. We are calling this contrary motion. And both hands are using same fingering. If you want to practice your chords that we just learned, you can do it this way. Left hand will be just pressing one key at a time. In right hand, you're pressing your chord C, E, G. That's major or happy. Next one, minor or sad. Next one is minor or sad. Then major or happy. Major happy. Minor sad. Don't worry about this one. This is diminished. We'll be learning this soon. And last one is major or happy. Now, the last thing that I want to show you today are C scale chords. So like we said, we are having C, E, G. That's my original. We are having inversion here. So we are playing same chord, just in different positions. So look what I'm doing. I will uh, throw this one all the way up. So I'm done with that one. I'm putting first finger here on this existing I'm pressing. This one that I'm pressing already, I'm changing finger to two. And this C that I put up is here. And I have E, G, C. Next one, uh, next group, I will be putting this E all the way up. So I'm moving finger, move finger, and this E is up. And I have G, C, E. And the last one, again, this G, I will just put it up. So I'm done with that one. I'm putting here first finger, three, this G that was here, now it's up. So I have C, E, G, E, G, C, G, C, E, C, E, G. Thank you so much guys in uh, joining me today. Hopefully I helped you in uh, learning how to recognize interval of chords.
please, if you have any questions, let me know. I really, my purpose here is to help you in your new journey. I know that is really overwhelming and hard in the beginning. So that's why I'm here. And um, I will do my best to uh, post really helpful and easy videos so you can follow everything. I'm always suggesting to everybody to um, do their one-on-one -on -one lesson. That's really important, especially in beginning. So always find a teacher that is in your city that actually works for you. And, um, and we will definitely be able to help you a little bit more because we'll be spending more time together and we can be able to fix uh, some things that we see while you're playing. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to uh, post more videos, but you please make sure to subscribe, to share this video with your friends, to like down below that will help me a lot and um and i'll be able to post even more and i will see you in the next video